All right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Final Whistle. We're back, and it's the season preview. I have two of my constants here, and then we have a special guest here. Let me put them in right now. As you can see, we have Yaga back. We have Derek back. And special guest today, we have Calvin, who's also a Manchester United fan. Daniel couldn't come in, so Yaga brought <laughs> Yaga brought reassurance in that <laughs> United fan or Calvin, so... <laughs> it's a, a, a back end. So before we go through what we're going to talk about, kind of just make sure that if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're going to be um, uploading videos every two weeks, you know, maybe twice a month as the season goes on. So hit the subscribe button right now so that you can get our videos when we post. Now, it's our season preview. The Premier League starts next week. And what we're going to do is, obviously, Derek and I are Chelsea fans, as you can see, and Yaga and Calvin are United fans. We're going to start doing a preview of both of our teams. So Derek and I are kind of going to discuss what we think of what, how our teams have done in the transfer window, and Yaga and Calvin are going to do the same. So, Derek, let me start with you. When we talk about transfers – Chelsea has probably made the most, I don't know the last time we just went crazy on this transfer window. Yeah. We won, we signed players that we needed, we signed players that we wanted, and the next thing is we got to sell players that we do not need. Just a recap, we have Chilwell, Thiago Silva, Havertz, Ziyech, Werner. These are five players that... Real Madrid and them. Like, transfer windows like this does not happen to Chelsea. The last time it happened, I think it was Abramovich first year or his second year when he was building. Yeah. Oh, oh, so. So. Yes. Oh, so. Like, all those Droba and all this stuff. Now, Derek, with all these players that we've signed, right, it seems like we plugged holes that we needed help with from last season. And we also able to sign like players that we do not need, but for the future, they're going to be exceptional in Havertz, for example. How, like, how do you summarize this window? Because honestly, I do not remember the last time where we had all these players. And, and I, think, I think what happened, the pandemic did help because teams do not have as much money. Our ban from last season did help because we did not spend the money that we needed. So we kind of, it's basically like we're saving money and, we just happen to be able to sign all these players with the money that we have. What are your thoughts of, of how these, this, this window has gone so far? Because it seems like, I want to say we're done, but you, you never know the way that it's going. <laughs> Yo, I, I am buzzing. Like, this entire week has been the cap of everything for me because, you know, Chelsea has always – always been you know that team that everybody expects to compete and i would say that within the last you know couple of years even though people expected us to compete it's not going to think much of us but i guess with all these new signings you know people are going to think so much more about chelsea a few things that i want i want to call out with this whole signings that we have had you know the positives of this whole thing is we made as well eventually be in the positive in terms of having sold Eden Hazard, mm -hmm. you know, last year, his, you know, transfer fee is basically going to fund a lot of the transfers that we're going to have, you know, this year. And that for me as a team speaks well of the future that we can have and some of the things that we can be able to achieve. Let's take somebody like, you know, Havertz. He, he's 21. If this guy is done playing after five years yeah. and he actually proves the way we want him to prove, he's going to go out of the door, you know, in triple figures. Yeah. One fifty or one something for sure. Yeah, similar to what we did with um, Hazard because exactly. we Hazard, you know, um, six years ago, he spent, what, he spent eight years at, seven years at Chelsea. Uh -huh. And, you know, at 29, we let him go for a big fee and then we, yeah. Exactly. So, so I am I am super excited. You know, I had always hoped that Chelsea, one thing I didn't like about season last year is that we didn't have individuals who come into the game and change the game. Mm 
Mm-hmm. We basically had the same group of players that we had to rotate around and try to find solutions, you know. But with this group that we have, like, I am buzzing because I know that there's so much debt on the bench and there's so much we can be able to do with this this crop of players. So much competition also. Like, that's probably the biggest thing where we do not need Havertz, but the competition that he brings and the, the price tag and his his – like right now, if if you look ten years ahead, five years ahead, he's probably the highest potential player that we have. His ceiling yeah. is so high. We have some yeah. great players. Pulisic is great, and Mount and all these players. But when there's a chance to sign a player like Havertz and you have the money, you kind of have to go for it, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. aside from signings, I I was very happy with how well we signed and how quickly we did our signings. Mm-hmm. That, that the efficiency. Awesome. Of, I want to give a huge shout out to our 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 director, the lady Marina. This lady is a business savvy lady, man. She, she I, I think the, how Chelsea is being operated is so excellent. Where football people are doing football things and business people like Marina is doing business things. Yeah, signing these players, we're not overpaying. Like the Chilwell deal, they wanted eighty million. We were like, listen, we'll give you fifty. They said, okay, we did not want fifty. All of a sudden, there's a rumor that we. We're gonna sign Regulon from Sevilla. And then Leicester and the player are on settled. I'd be like, wait, the guy wants to move on with the career. Like, it, no stuff like that. And negotiations work out, and we end up paying fifty million for a player they wanted eighty million for, right? So we're not overpaying, and that thirty million goes to fund Ziyech or Werner or you know, yeah. it's smart, smart, smart investment. Defensively, we were terrible last year, right? You bring in Thiago Silva, albeit he's thirty six years old, right? But Experience wise, and look, watch him in the Champions League. He did not look a, a day over thirty six. Yeah. He looked like a, a good thirty two year old who still has, you know, some some miles on his legs. So great, great investment. I can't, I can't. I, I, there's the one thing that I'm gonna say. I, I guess let's go back on the field right now. The one thing I'm gonna say is I feel that the players will take a bit of time to gel, right? Because mm-hmm. all these players, like we signed five players. Four of them have never played in the Premier League, right? And only Chilwell has played. And even, even if Chilwell has experience in the Premier League, he hasn't played with the players, right? So how do you think this will gel? Does it? How long do we expect it to gel? Do you think that um, the core of the team is good enough where we can put in the pieces where it just it's just going to flow? Because if it takes time for us to gel, the, the league, it's going to, you know, it, we might lose out on the league. So... Personally, I think um, that is quite one of the biggest achievements that Lampard had last year. You remember the number of players who were brought in who had never played in the Premier League, you know, coming all the way from the championship. You know, I mean, there are players that he was, you know, um, coaching in, in, um, in the championship, but the players didn't have any experiences at all. And yeah. even the way they played last season – it's almost as if they actually had a ton of experience playing in the Premier League. So I feel, yes, there is that, you know, red flag. There's that watch out in terms of how the players are going to gel and then make things happen. But I strongly believe that Lampard is the right man to help us do that without any hiccups. You know, I don't think that the challenges that we had last year had Less to do with the players gelling, but more to do with, you know, individual mistakes. You know, most of the defensive mistakes, you know. So so I I know that is something we have to watch out for, but I'm not concerned about the players gelling at all. I mean, technically. Well, Joe, I think my my only concern is how long would it take for them to hit the ground running? Because I don't, there's no... I mean, we have core players like the Germans. There are three Germans on the team now, so I don't think Havertz will feel. I mean, he he like you know what I mean like he feels yeah yeah, yeah. like he has people like that. There's the English guys, and we have a couple of French guys, and I think they're going to be well. But it's just that how long will it take for Zs to notice how Werner plays or how Pulisic plays? You know, he showed, us, he showed us in the in the in, in the first game. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, he showed us that in right. under five minutes, he just yeah. put in that, that pass. That is what ZH does, you know. Yeah. He, he He's able to identify the spot. So I was watching his highlights about, and there was a highlight story just talking about how good he is at passing. Yeah. 
and he just picks out people. Sometimes yeah. it's amazing how he's able to pick you out. You know, of course, you know, the more time they spend together, the better it becomes. But I don't think it's going to be so much of a problem such that we're going to start to regret and say, oh, wow, this is not working. We need time for the players to gel. I, I don't see that happening personally. So last thing on this. So defensively, right, that was our biggest problem last year. Like we, we just couldn't defend. We have a – we don't know if we have a goalkeeper problem or we have a, a center backs problem. Do we have both problem? Thiago Silva is coming in, right? World-class player. He could, you could still debate like he's still a world-class player right now. Yeah. Some people might disagree, but he's still a very, very serviceable, you know, player. It seems like we're going to go with the goalkeeper unless something drastically changes. I'm, I'm not sure how we can – because in order to change the goalkeeper, we will have to loan him out and we will have to bring in another goalkeeper. I'm not sure how well, – Nick already confirmed that uh, Capel is going to stay. Okay. Yeah. So how do you think about our – I think because I think you would agree, like, defensively, that was our biggest problem last year. Dude, yeah, we, were leaking, you know? we were leaking on left back a lot yeah. last year. We were leaking. Left back, I thought center back was also a huge issue. I mean, that was that was one part of it, especially when you play teams like Manchester United, who you know, or any other teams that have a lot of speed on the wings. Like mm-hmm. we started a lot. Aspili Quetta, he can't catch up. Yeah. Marcos Alonso, the least said the better. Yeah. Right. Um, Emerson Palmieri, don't talk about it. Yeah. You know, so Reese brought a certain balance. Um, Aspilicueta has a lot of experience, but when you have Chilwell coming in as another alternative, mm-hmm. you know, that dude is great offensively and defensively. Like, mm-hmm. there is not one thing I can take out of this game. You know, it's almost like a Marcos, Al- it's almost like a, a Marcos Alonso joined to an optical yeah. type, type of player. Yeah. Like he's very balanced. Like, and one good thing is, the support that he provides to the attacking is not as Marcos Alonso. Marcos Alonso, you can almost predict everything that he's going to do. Chivo cuts in, sometimes yeah. even in the center of the pitch as a left back. Yeah. Right? Not to the detriment of the team, but you can see that he actually has a lot of football and you know, uh, 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 intelligence in how he handles his play and where he's able to pick pockets and where he feels he should <laughs> play. So. I, I am really buzzing. Like, I can't wait for the first game to just see how this whole thing pl- pans out. I think I think Alonso has a, a similar thing, honestly. But it's just that his, he doesn't have the ability. Look at the Man United fans. Oh, oh, they're the best. I know they're the best. But we'll get to them. I'm getting to them right after this. We'll get the chance. But I, I think Alonso <laughs> just can't do what Chilwell does. He doesn't have the athleticism. But, like... On the ball, he's excellent, right? So it's like it's like one of those things where we just have a, a true left back now. I'm very excited about the center back. I, I know, you like, like this, since I've been talking to you, you, you've been very keen on that left back, and you talked about it a lot. But the center back is probably, for me, honestly, was the number one target for me because the goals are coming down the middle. And when Kepa is pointing to the center backs, and the way that we were rotating our center back just showed that like, Lampard did not have – Pair that he could trust. So, I mean, Thiago Silva for me is like, huge. So, we'll get back. I, I'll get back to you on um, where we think everybody finished. So, let me transition to the other people on our um, <laughs> our call. And Calvin, yeah, I guess here, yeah. United fans. So far, you have Van de Beek, and then you have um, uh, you, you resigned Dean Henderson, right? Yaga, what's up with your team? What do you think is what do you like? What do you need? What where does this team have to go? Does a Sancho and a and a Van der Beek kind of fix your problems? Do you need more? Who who needs to go? Why do you hate um? Why, why do you hate Ed Woodward? Tell me more. <laughs> okay, uh, so pretty much, I think um, with Van der Beek, I think I think it's a great addition to the team. Um, he, he gives us what. Um, Bruno and, and Pogba doesn't give, right? As far as him actually challenging for, for the ball, I think he's good with that. And he's good, he's good attacking wise. He's he has composure and he has the technique as well, he has some skills as well. So he's a he's a pretty, you know, um decent player. He's a good player. My my question is the main focus should have been Sancho, right? I don't know if we're gonna get Sancho. And we have a problem, you know, uh with our center backs. 
because Linda Love and Maguire is not a good combination. I don't know which is you know which one is better, but I feel like if we could get the guy from uh, um, Latin, Bobby Pano. Bobby Pano, yeah. that would be that would be that would be great. So that's what I need as a United fan. I need one um, uh, central defender. So and him before I, Sancho. What? Like it, it, like I'm talking about like priority right. Him before Sancho. Like if you were to get one, if yeah, him before Sancho. You get one player. Him before Sancho. Okay. The, the main reason is, the main reason is because I feel like Greenwood, right? I feel like Greenwood is 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 is, is, is gonna you know be better this season. Mm -hmm. So that being said, if if Sancho comes in now, we wouldn't see you know the full potential of, of Greenwood because he wouldn't be you know getting enough game time. And I feel I I, I think if we could actually save one hundred million pounds and just you know focus on Greenwood for him to develop, I think that would be great for the team. But we can't we can have we cannot have Sancho and not have Upamecano as well. You got what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the the first signing is not something that I I feel we need unless United try to play four 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 two. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to play Van der Beek, Pogba, and Bruno, that's that's yeah. not good because the midfield is really gonna leak. You got know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so yeah. you want to yeah, play yeah. Yeah. Four, four, two diamond formation where you would have probably McTominay or Fred or Matic sitting in front of the defenders. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we got, I don't know if this current you know Premier League whatever fix the four four two formation because yeah, but that takes you know, attacking players off the field for you guys. Right? I mean, it takes attacking players off the field. Yeah, right? it takes the exactly. wingers off the field. But what I'm trying to say is. Are you gonna play? Is Ole gonna play the three of them in in, in Bruno Van der Beek and Pogba, or is he gonna bench one of them? Do you, you got what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that is gonna work. I mean, it's up to the manager to make sure that works. But I feel like if if Madrid has also offered what's his name, Rugalion, Sergio Rugalion, or whatever his name is, why don't we take the chance? People are talking about oh, Madrid will include a buy back clause. Okay, I don't care about that. Let him come develop. He's 23 years old. So Yaga, Yaga, let me before Calvin go right. You've named Sancho, Upamecano, yeah. and Rugilon. Yeah. Like these are three players. Yeah. So you're saying Upamecano is number one. Me, to me personally. Yeah. And then who's number two? Number two, definitely Sancho. Sancho. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, because Brendan Williams, he's not ready. Okay. We need yeah. to loan him out. Uh, we all do. He, he know, he tried his best, but I don't think he's ready. Mm -hmm. So if we have Luke Shaw, who's very unreliable because he's always injured and all that, Luke Leon will be will be will be a good fit for us. Then mm -hmm. you have Sancho, you have Upamecano. I think that would be that would be a great that would be a great team for 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 Man United and definitely will be able to challenge. But at this point, we only have Van der Boek. So I can only speak of him. I don't think I don't think I don't think we'll be challenging. Probably definitely top four. But I don't think we'll be challenging as much as your team would. You know, will challenge for. For the title next season. I told you, mind your own business. I don't need about. No, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We'll get there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about your team so far? <laughs> okay. Now, transfer window has been open since you know, um, after the season, and I feel like Van Beek to me is a panic buy, where we don't need that player, but we need him because Van Beek coming in. Is gonna make Pogba a liability, mm -hmm. you know. And Solskjaer is always mindset is I'm building a team around Pogba. Mm -hmm. But this is an un unpopular. Like this, this is just my opinion. Right now, as of right now, if I'm if I'm the coach, I'm not gonna focus more on building a team around Pogba. I'm I'm gonna focus more on building a team around my attackers. Mm -hmm. You know, because Pogba's about to hit his peak. You know, uh, and, 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 yeah. Yes. And and right now, right now he gotta treat Pogba like any other player. Where if he doesn't perform, they drop him. Because mm -hmm. if you look at it, back then Pogba was injured and Bruno stepped in in January. You can tell the team was stable when we had Fred and Matic. But Pogba comes back from injury, he gotta decide. I gotta play him. But even though he did good, like you know, you can tell the chemistry was good. But like you can tell that. With Fred and Matchett, it was like like it was stable. Like the team was defensively good. Yeah, yeah. Like if you work, it's a hard worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not probably he's a great player, but I feel like he's he's more of a Juventus suitor player. More of a I don't I, like I feel like this this takes us back to where Ferguson never took Pogba. Mm -hmm. 
maybe he has he had his reasons why he made him go, you know. But us bringing him back, let's be real. It's been almost three years and guys, you know, three years and guys, four years. The guys still not delivered. So right now for the transfer window, I mean, Van Beek is a good buy, but it's a panic buy too, you know. But should we get Sancho? No. For me, I'll say no. I think we should focus more maybe on a Griezmann or a Gareth Bale, like an experienced white right wing who can compete with Sancho, you know, I mean, with Greenwood. Mm -hmm. Greenwood, let's not forget about second season syndrome where he's going to come in. It's a second season. Everybody gets that. Yeah. Yeah. Every player player gets that. And he's a young kid. So, you know, sometimes when when you're building a player, like the guidance, you got to let him – he's like, what, 18, 19? Yeah, so him like playing day by day, that can take a toll on him. Even mm-hmm. though it's, maybe it all comes down, it's all, it all, it's all, it all gonna come down to him. But let's hope you know he has he has a great season. So for me, I'll focus more of a a dis, uh, the uh, center back and the left back, like he said. Mm-hmm. You know, like like that guy from Leipzig or maybe Koulibaly from Napoli. Just yeah. just have that stable stuff, you know. Because honestly, I wish Bayou was a top defender right now, but you know, injuries is just. Making him not not the the right choice right now, but yeah. Luke Shaw Luke Shaw can technically be a center back, but right now we need a left back too. Because Brandon Williams, when when you when you watch the last three games, he was not performing. You know, even yeah. though the yeah. started off good, but like so for me, I'll focus more on a a center back, maybe a right wing, but more experience, not like a Sancho type. Yeah, because you, know? yeah. you have too many young. Yeah, you have too many. Right. Yeah. Had the average age is like twenty three, so maybe eight, so um a five as a right wing and a striker, a number okay. nine. Right. You're not yeah. sold on. Sorry, sorry to cut you. Yeah. Um, sorry to cut you, but at this moment, right? Mm-hmm. Which quality striker can United get? Which quality? Look, Martial. <laughs> he he finished up the season great. No, but, no, no. You got a simple question. Which quality striker can we get? We That's need ready to come to United. Quality striker. Kane. A Harry Kane. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's not a bad shout. I'll, that's not bad. That's impossible. You want to come to United? Bro, which which player wouldn't play for United? Ah, uh, man. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bragging, but, but I'm not, I'm not bragging, but. This is common. Let's listen. When you win United, not 2002. I know, I know, I know, but yo, listen. Calvin, I should stop this question. Why is it that any time United wants to buy a player, they increase the price? Yeah, why? Why is that? Have y'all have y'all get have y'all gotten that? It's like it's like we have been bullied in the in the transfer market all the time. You know, we are desperate. We are desperate. All the time. Bro, we got my guy for 80 mil. Like <laughs> he's not worth that mil. He's not worth that mil. I did that line. I got you for 50 mil. Listen, like, I'm just addressing what you just said. You said what player I wouldn't want to come to United. It's not the same yeah. anymore. United is not the same anymore. It's not the same. Back then, we had David Gill and Faggy. Yeah, any player I want to come to United. I get it, bro. It's not. I just want the same. If I'm a tough striker uh-huh. and Liverpool wants me, City wants me, and United wants me, hell, I'm not going to United. Yeah. It's not the same. But the future that's is man straight. Good. You, listen, that's what I'm asking you. Which quality striker? Because any quality striker, the top teams want that player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you're a quality striker and City wants you, as well as um, Liverpool wants you. For me, for me, th- this would be my option for a, like like a backup striker, a Thomas <laughs> Muller. No, 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 y'all got listen. Look, we get him, Martial. He, he's he's getting to his peak, right? Martial. Nah, let him finish. Nah, it's either like you said, he plays a diamond. Where I think he might utilize Rashford and Martial as like you know you know how Romajit played, where they played Ronaldo and Benzema. Ronaldo's like a he doesn't have a position up front. Yeah, Ronaldo doesn't have a position up front, but the thing is, he might either play that or Daniel James. No, oh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay, let me finish, 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 finish. James has the pace. That we can't, we can't argue with that. He has the pace, but that's all. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, yo, listen, yo, yo, yo. Listen, let's, let's go back to the game we played, y'all, on um uh, the semifinal. Where this guy played the same formation, we, we scored you guys like we won three out of four, right? If I was him, I wouldn't play the same formation again. He, he should have stayed to his four two three, four two three one. But when you play three four three, Lampard is not dumb. He's not gonna sit there and let you win four over four like four four matches against him. So I knew we were gonna lose that game, you know. But Daniel James can be can be that right wing, but I don't, I don't think he's gonna be at his peak. But if he picks up, 
Yeah, I don't think we need a right winger, man. We don't. So that's who, that's who, who's your number one target? If you were to be like signing, that it came to you, and be like Calvin, we have this money. Who do we sign so that going into the season you're very confident? Up, uh, what's his name? The oh, guy from Lincoln, okay, Mikano and Conte. Massa. Uh, eh. Next up, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Conte is on sale, right? Well, he's not on sale. Nah, yes, I had United one. Want to get rid of him? Okay, bring hundred million. I had United one. Nah. Of course, I'll pay. I'll pay yeah, for United. United do want him. We do. We I'll pay for that if yeah. that, I don't think it's gonna happen. Because if I'm if I'm Conte and when Chelsea has made all these investments, I'm gonna go to United. Yeah, as a United fan, yeah, as a United fan, we talked about where you're gonna. Who has to leave? Oh, I have the list. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Let's listen, bro. Oh, my I'm, ready, God. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Right, let's go. Let's go, my G. Number one on the list, Phil Jones. Out. Okay. Out. Out. He doesn't have to be on the payroll. He has to be out. <laughs> Linda. Yeah, good one. Linda. <laughs> Who? Linda has to be out. Linda. 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 We, can sell, we can sell it for like 20 million and then use the money for something else. Yeah. 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 He has to be out. That guy is clueless. Yo, please, he has to be out. Mm-hmm. Smalling is, you know, he, he was good at, for Roma, but I don't think we need him at this point. You know, mm-hmm. Smalling, I respect you, but you have to go. Because Roma wants to, you know, bet, so we'll take that. Mm-hmm. Marco Rojo. Oh. oh. He's gone, bro. Come on, man. Hello? No, yeah, no. He got, he got loaned, but he's back. No, he, he started he start playing. Mm-hmm. And, and this player, it hurts, but he has to go. Not because he's not good. It's just that Dean Henderson is back. Romero. I had Le- Leeds United want him, so we could tell him and use the money for something else. Not because he's not good. That's six players. Yeah, they got to go. Wow. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. okay I'm, I mean, I'm, let me tell my take. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is, okay. All right. Don't say Pogba. Me, don't say Pogba. <laughs> I'm not, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, for me, for mm-hmm. me, I feel like, um, like Phil Jones needs to go, Rojo needs to go, Pereira needs to go, Lingard needs to go. Mm-hmm. But there's these two other players that it might shock you, but they have to go in order to right for us to mm-hmm. like become a top team. Pogba, Pogba needs to they 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 need to get their money. They they someone need to buy them so they can the money they can mm-hmm. just get the money out. But nobody's so many, bro. Pogba now. Nobody's. I have my reasons. Okay, okay, because okay now that we're in the we're in the Champions League, Bruno and Pogba they're both hungry for Champions League, so maybe that can change. But if after this season Pogba still they have to sell him to they get so they can get your money out. It's Pogba and um this player, this player. Um I was gonna say the hair, but no, we need the hair right now. He's not going, he's not leaving. But it's Pogba and um Romero. Because Mar- Romero right now he's like a good goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. It's, a similar, it's a similar um The only thing you added was Pogba. Yeah. Cause, cause the thing is, the thing is, I feel like I, there, there are a lot of players, but you gotta look at it. It's, it's a long season, man. Yeah, yeah, long season. But remember, when these players are going, we need players to come in. I mean, yeah, now yeah. that we flow with that, so. Well, you already told us who you think should come in and who should go. I, yeah, I told you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so it, I guess you could use the money to fund the players. That you need. That's all I'm saying. Because why are we paying Lingard one over hundred thousand? <laughs> why are we paying? So, so, so Derek, I, I, I was talking about um. The Chelsea team, and they're talking about Kante, and you did mention something about Kante. You were willing to let Kante leave if, you know, if funds kill and all that stuff. We have a lot of players on the books for Chelsea, especially when we sign all these players. A lot of them have to go. On your list, let's go on these players that you are willing to let go right now. I don't think so about Kante anymore, trust me. That's Mm. I said that I don't think so anymore. Okay. Maybe I can add that in a in a different episode. Um, players that I I think should go. Emerson Palmieri has to go. Yeah, and- Achuai has to go. Thank you. And Georgino have to, has to. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That that was my yeah. Yeah. Those are like the three that for sure we got to mm-hmm. let them go and make some money out of it. Mm-hmm. Other players mm-hmm. that I wouldn't, I would be okay with them going, would be Ruben Loftus Cheek and Barkley. Really? Mm. Barkley, yes. Loftus Cheek is a Chelsea guy, so it's hard for him I, to let go. So I don't yeah. mind it if 
I don't want both of them to go, but I don't mind one of them going. Leave it. Okay. Really? Yeah. But if, if it was up to you, would you? Is this something where you'd be like, uh, I, I will, because I think we have to let Barkley, Emerson, Jorginho, right, and one of the center backs have to go. All three of them. One Christian. of them. Have to go. Christensen yeah. is the one guy that I'm. I'm waiting for this guy to realize his potential, but every time he plays, he seems like he's regressing every single time. Out of all the center back, he has the highest ceiling, highest potential. But I'm I'm just not seeing a player that's I don't think he has the confidence at this point. You guys gotta so, let him go. So, so if one of the center backs, me preferably Christensen, I've had it with him, Emerson, Jorginho, Barkley. Why Barkley? I thought Barkley Barkley was decent. Yeah, but Barkley doesn't have a role anymore in the team because of Havertz and Mount being in it. Back up player. I said you're probably, you know, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. Yeah, but, like, yeah, I, I, I much rather have a, a different type of player than another player similar to what Havertz and Mount does, you know? Are you guys going to bring this guy so, back? Wait, wait, wait did, 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 did someone say they want to let uh, Loftus Cheek go? Loftus yeah. Cheek or Barkley, Derek said. Oh, no, nah, nah, Loftus Cheek, man. I'm not saying he should go. I'm saying I'm comfortable if any of those two have to go. Oh, okay. I love that guy, but... Maybe I can take a better decision after this season mm-hmm. because I feel like he just came back from injury. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, not that strong, man. You know, man, man, he's the Pogba figure like player, man. Trying to not get injured again, so maybe that's what was happening. Please, so please. I'll let I'll let that pass. Um, I think that Tamori should go on loan, and I think Christensen, we should either sell him for some money or just let him go. On yeah. loan again, yeah. Wait, but you can let him go on loan. You have sound loan. You have sound loan. Sell Christmas and make some money, man. Yeah, go. Um, he, he he's the yeah, guy. Yeah, I think I think tomorrow. Tomorrow, we do want tomorrow. But with Christensen, I want like a loan with a with you know the opportunity to with the other team to buy him. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. I think that is probably the best loan we can give. There are some other players here that I don't know what we're doing, but they all gotta go. Drink water, yeah, yeah. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt. So drink water has to go. Mm-hmm. Duh. Matt Meyer has to go. Zapacosta has to go. Oh, oh yeah, all these, yeah. Oh, no. No. I thought he left already. No, yeah, I mean, no. No. They're long players. <laughs> Victor Moses has to go. Oh, Kennedy. Is that a Chelsea player? Yeah. yeah. I thought Chelsea be loaning, bro. They don't sell. We don't sell. We loan. <laughs> Kennedy got, like, has to go. Like, Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> and I think Ethan Ampadu has to go back on loan. Oh, my God. Oh, on loan. <laughs> on loan. I thought he left already. Oh, no. Because no. he played for Leipzig, right, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah. We have, like, 40 players on the first team. Man, Chelsea, Chelsea I mean, long list is long. Even, even, even Van, the guy with the Van, whatever Van Gerrit, yeah, yeah. he's, he's, he's still, he's still, he's still on the roster. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, he's the player. We know that he he hurt his knee and he's one player you have. You guys have to bring back in is that little sixteen year old boy, the eighteen year Gilmore. Yeah, Very yeah, he, he he's really good. Oh, yeah, he's definitely. Wait, good. what about what about what about what about Masunda, the guy from that that. Derek. That was Derek's guy. Yeah, so that guy, I didn't talk about him. I ah, love that guy, I man. I still love him. I'm, I still want to give him a chance. Yeah, yeah, if I was, I'll still give him a chance. Yeah, he yeah. hurt his knee. He still stay around, and let's see what yeah, happens. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea always has history, the, um, how to manage young players, man. Imagine no, no, no. Musonda, his knee, he, 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 when he's told he is CL, it, it just... Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, a team like Chelsea, we can't wait for players.